Hi students, here we go for the next topic, areas of sector and segment of a circle. So we know that this part we call it as a sector, and the small one is the minor sector, and the bigger one is the major, and segment which is covered by the chord, small one is the minor, and the bigger one is the major. Here you can see it is covered by the two radius and the arc of the circle, and here is the chord and arc of the circle. Chord and arc is a segment, two radius, and uh, the small part we call it as an arc. It's a sector so when we simply call sector it means is minor and also when we simply call segment it is a minor segment so note it when we write segment and sector we will mean that minor segment and the minor sector respectively unless stated otherwise so next uh, the topic says we are going to find about the areas of sectors and segment so we know this the areas of circle is 360 degree right so we are going to find only this part of uh, sorry the angle of the whole uh, revolution is a 360 degree we are going to find only this part so let me make it as a theta right so if it is a full circulation it will be a 360 so for 360 degree it is a pi r square right so when a degree measure for angle at a center 360 degree the area of sector is pi r square if you measure for the one we will be dividing by 360 right so when the degree measure of angle at the center of 1 degree then the area of sector is 3 pi r square by 360 so therefore when the degree is measured for the theta here we are not considering anything just we are going to consider as a theta so it's for general then the, while coming to the problem we can substitute an angle so the theta will be multiplied right so therefore when a degree measures of an angle at center and theta then angle of sector is equal to theta into pi r square by 360 so we will be considering it as the formula so area of the sector of angle theta is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square the same similarly we can show for the length also circumference this full length is the circumference this part we will be calling it as an arc to find only this length so length of the arc of sector of an angle theta is equal to same theta by 360 into the circumference of the surface 2 pi r clear this is to find the sector area of the sector and length of the sector so here the length of an arc of a sector means this part we call it as the length of the arc of the sector while naming this uh, minor segment we call it as a o a p b while naming the major sector we call it as o a q b the same for the segment minor segment a b p major segment a b q this part so here i shown the diagram for the segment this is the minor and this is the major segment the same uh, segment we can also derive from the sector right just i am going to join this o and a and o and b so now we can see this it is with an angle some angle o a p b is look like a sector so to find the segment you can see this full length is the sector and this part is look like a triangle so only we need this part so full minus this triangle this full shape we call it as a sector right so area of segment a p b is equal to area of sector o a p b minus area of this triangle o a b right we can rewrite in the formula like a theta by 360 into pi r square is equal to area of triangle o a b i didn't return area of a triangle o a b here since we have a uh, many formulas we can use a uh, half into b into h or heron's formula also is that or area of equilateral triangle also we have different formulas so we can use anything that's why i just leave it as a area of a triangle it depends on the questions given we can write so area of major segment means this whole circle minus this small minor segment right that's why i written so pi r square minus area of minor seg minor sector clear and the area of the major segment is equal to pi r square minus area of the minor segment this is for major sector we will sub subtract the whole area by the this pi r square means whole area right area, area of the full circle by the minimum minor sector same for the major sector the area of the full circle minus the minor segment so here we go for the problem Find the area of quadrant of the circle. Quadrant means it will be like a 90 degree. Just one fourth of the circle. It will be a 90 degree. Right. 
so we can write that theta is equal to 90 degree whatever the given you read just you can write upper circle whose circumference is given 22 centimeter circumference is given as a 22 centimeter so we have to find the area of the quadrant to find the area of this part we need a radius right we have only circumference but from circumference we can derive circumference is a 2 pi r right so 2 pi r is equal to 22 is given so we need a r so actually here is a 2 into 22 by 7 into r is equal to 22 so for r we will be getting as a 22 into 7 divided by 2 into 22 so 22 and 22 cancel and r we got it as a 7 by 2 centimeter this is our radius so radius is equal to 7 by 2 centimeter so now we have to find the area of the quadrant so area of the quadrant is easy quadrant is not a it's a semi uh, one fourth of the circle even we can write one by four of the area of the circle or else we can use this angle also area of quadrant equal to even we can write one by four of pi r square or else we can also write 90 degree by 360 into pi r square here also it will become a 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 into pi will be 22 by 7 into uh, r is a 7 by 2 right so 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 and 7 7 is gone 2 it is for 11 times 11 into 77 by your 4 into 2 is a 8 so we'll get as a 9.6 centimeter square this is the area of the quadrant so here we come for the next problem the length of minute hand of a clock is 14 centimeters and the clock there is a 14 centimeter minute hand and area swept by the minutes hand in five minutes so far after the five minutes it will be going to like this right so we have to find this area actually this area is look like a sector to find the sector we need the angle and also the radius so this full is a 360 degree so actually how many seconds are here it's a 60 right so so angle described here they're talking about minutes then there will be a 60 minutes so we are talking about second we can say 60 seconds but here minutes so it will be a 60 minutes so we have to find uh, what is the angle for the 5 minutes 5 minutes for 60 minutes is a 360 right so angle described by the minute hand for 60 minutes is 360 what happened for one minutes we have to divide by 360 60 right 360 divided by 60 so but we need for a five minutes right so therefore for five minutes the angle will be 5 into 360 by 60 it will be 6 times 6 is a 30 degree so it will be a 30 degree we got it that it has a 30 degree and we need a radius so where the radius is given yes the length the length is the this is the length from center only this length is there no so this is a 14 that is equal to 14 centimeter so now we can find this area we are actually we have to find out whether it is a sector or a segment then only it will be easy so we found it is a sector so area swept so what shape it is sector you can write in the bracket so there will be no confuse so theta by 360 into pi r square so theta we know is the 30 divided by 360 into pi is 22 by 7 into r is a 14 so 14 into 14 so we can cancel this for an uh, two times and three table 12 times again two table it is for a six times again this for three times and this is for 11 so 11 into 14 is a 154 divided by 3 
two so it will be in the decimal for a five one point eight three centimeter square so area swept by the minute sand is for five minutes is 51.83 centimeter square if the radius is a four centimeter long then it is served by the area 51.83 centimeter square so here we go for the problem a chord of a circle of radius 10 centimeter suspend at right angle at angles 90 degree at the center so let me draw the figure so it is a circle i am going to consider a chord here and this chord is suspended from the center of the circle this right it suspends like that and with the angle right angle this is a right angle and it is given radius is 10 centimeter so it is given the radius is equal to 10 centimeter and theta is equal to 90 degree right so we have to find the uh, area of the corresponding minor segment and the major sector to find the segment first we need to find the sector then it will be easy right yes so here we have to find the major sectors and also the minor segments so this is the minor sector but we are going to find the major sector so let me take this angle for the major sector otherwise we can find this sector minus uh, that this angle so the two ways are there let me choose this way and this is a 90 degree and here it will be a 272 270 degree right so area of major sector first i'm going to find the second one since to find the minor segment uh, we need a sector first right then only we can find so even we can find this sector and minus area of this or else uh, directly you can use the 270 let me find this small sector so which will be minus sector which will be useful to find the both 1 and 2 so area of minor sector is equal to area is a 90 degree right theta by 360 into pi r square so r is a 10 centimeter and theta is equal, here they said to use pi 3.14 right so theta is a 90 degree so 90 by 360 into 3.14 into r is a 10 centimeter 10 into 10 so i can cancel this 10 and this and 9 table so for 4 and it is a 314 since multiple 10 into 10 two decimals will be more divided by 4 and we divide we will get as a 78.5 right so then it is easily we can find the major sector area of major sector is equal to pi r square minus area of minor sector so area of uh, minus pi r square is we have they said to use 3.14 3.14 into the radius are same 10 into 10 minus 78.5 we will be getting it as a as a 314 minus 78.5 and if you subtract we will be getting it as a uh, 235 centimeter square this is the major sector so let me go for the first one we have to find the area of minor segment area of minor segment is equal to this area of this minor sector minus the triangle area of minus sector minus area of triangle already named we can name it as an OAB right OAB so we know that the area of the minor sector we already found as a 78.5 minus area of a triangle OAB. It is it we have a perpendicular height here, right? So we can use a half into base into height. So it depends on what we have, we can use. So half into base. So both is 
so 10 cm since it is a radius so let me consider it as a base and this as the height so half into base into height so 78.5 minus half into 10 into 10 then it will be 50 78.5 minus 50 so which is equal to 28.5 centimeter square so which is the minor segment clear